questions that we get asked all the time that are important questions. There's three of them. The first is, what is the difference between a workstation and a PC? You've just shown us the next computer. Is it a workstation? Is it a PC? The answer is yes. Let's go through some of the differences. There are some companies that make their living by selling tens of computers a year. And these are the supercomputer companies. Cray comes to mind. There are some companies that make their living by selling hundreds of computers a year, and these are the mini supers. There are some companies that make their living by selling thousands of computers a year, and these are the mini computers, and IBM and DEC come to mind, and also the mainframes. Now there are some companies that make their living by selling tens of thousands of computers a year, and these are the workstations. And then there are some companies that make their living by selling hundreds of thousands of computers a year, and these are sort of the power PCs, and Compaq comes to mind. And then there's the mainstream PC market, millions per year, and Apple and IBM come to mind. And the whole computer industry is somewhere on this triangle. Now, the reason that I've broken it into two colors is that we'll see some interesting things. Let's examine how these companies sell their computers. How do the companies in blue sell them? Only one way. None of them sell through retail. All of them sell direct with people, right? How do the companies in green sell them? Several tried with their own sales forces, but they all gave up, and 100% of them sell through retail. There's a very clear split, okay? Let's examine how these companies touch their customers. How does, how does the companies in blue touch their customers? When there's a problem, how do they fix it? There's only one way. They throw people at it. They hire more systems engineers. They hire more technical support people, as an example. But the companies in green learned long ago that they have so many users that they could never hire enough people to touch all of them with people. So how do, there's only one way that they touch their customers, and that is through the product itself. If they can't fix the problem in the product, they're dead. which means that the focus of these companies is very different. The blue companies are constantly focused on power, however they define it, MIPS, megahertz, number of terminals on a mini computer. But the companies in green, even IBM now, has finally realized that there's a more important focus for the 90s, and that is ease of use. Why? Not because we want to sell computers to morons. That is not why. The reason why is, is because all of us are spending about as much time as we're ever going to reading computer manuals, learning how to use new programs. We're not going to spend any more time on it than we already are, which means if we want to deliver more sophisticated solutions for the 90s, we have to make the computers easier to use just to stay even. And that is why all the companies in green have decided that ease of use is their number one priority for the 90s. And notice that this thing splits in exactly the same place. Notice also that the workstation companies hired all their people from the mini and mainframe companies, and so they brought their cultural baggage with them. And there is a virtual Grand Canyon between these two perspectives. Now let's examine a few things. This ease of use power trade-off. Power, clearly the workstations have the power. Much more powerful architectures. And they have multitasking, real multitasking, which we need to go into the 90s. Networking, they've got the PCs beat on networking, about, again, an order of magnitude more powerful. Fortunately, they both use PostScript. Ease of use, the workstations are in the dark ages. Very few people in here could take a workstation out of the box, set it up, and be using it the same day. Productivity software. The workstations just don't have it. The PCs do. And then I threw a funny one in here called Upgrade Model. The workstation companies charge you 1% a month for software maintenance. That's 12% of the purchase price per year for upgrades. The PC companies learned long ago that with all this third-party software out there, they have to have everybody upgrade, so they can't charge much for it. They charge $100 or $200 for upgrades. They give them away, basically. And you can see how this perspective permeates not just the products, but the whole way the companies do business. We need the best of both of these worlds. 
Let's look and see where people are. Let's go back to this paradigm here, ease of use and power. How many here went to business school? Good. 